Camilla, the Duchess of Cornwall, has been snapped catching a spot of sun on board a luxury yacht in Sardinia, much to the dismay of the Queen who is busy with her summer schedule at her favorite home, Balmoral. While the monarch likes to surround herself with family members at her Scottish countryside retreat each year, Camilla decided to grant herself a solo break in the Mediterranean before making the journey to the castle. Clad in a one-piece emerald green swimsuit, the future queen consort looked carefree as she basked in the late summer sun and took a dip off the back of the Leander G yacht. The vessel is loved by the British royals who were granted free rental by its previous owner Sir Frederick Gosling after the Windsors gave up the Royal Britannia yacht. New Idea quoted a source as saying the Queen was not too pleased with Camilla's decision to choose a sun holiday with pals over spending time with the family. They said, the whole thing has really set the Queen off. She couldn't be more angry. And it seems the four-day break to the Italian island is becoming an annual fixture, with Camilla having also opted for the popular destination last summer, again without Charles. Italian magazine Chi published 50 images of the 72-year-old grandmother in a swimsuit, angering a British royal commentator. Richard Fitzwilliams branded the magazine disgustingly lurid for showing pictures of the royal in her swimming costume. The Duchess was seen two days near Corsica and two days off the coast of the island Caprera. Camilla's short break comes after Meghan Markle, 38, gave Balmoral a miss and instead jetted to New York to watch her friend Serena Williams play in the US Open Women's Singles Final. The Duchess of Sussex headed to the Big Apple on a first-class ticket on a commercial flight after she and Prince Harry were fiercely criticized for their use of private jets earlier in the summer. The new parents were branded hypocrites after they boarded four private flights to Europe in 11 days. The pair regularly promote eco-friendly brands and speak out to raise awareness of global warming. Each year the Queen receives the Prime Minister for a weekend at Balmoral. But due to the Brexit crisis gripping the UK this year, Boris Johnson and his girlfriend Carrie Simon stayed only one night with the monarch. During her stay at Balmoral, former Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher caught a glimpse of the Queen washing dishes with her bare hands. This prompted the UK's first female premier to send a head of state a pair of rubber gloves as a Christmas present. Princess Eugenie once described the holiday home as the most beautiful place on earth. The royals enjoy picnics, garden parties and leisure activities at Balmoral, which was bought by Prince Albert in 1852 £32,000. Intrusive paparazzi snaps of Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall relaxing in a swimsuit in Sardinia have been published by an Italian magazine. The publication has been branded disgusting and lurid by a royal commentator who said it had breached the royal's privacy. Photographs of Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall, were published by Italian gossip magazine Chi. The snaps of the 72-year-old were taken while she was on board on a luxury yacht in Sardinia where she enjoyed a break before heading to Balmoral last week. The breach of the future Queen Consort's privacy has sparked outrage from one British royal commentator. Camilla was in Sardinia enjoying a four-day break away from royal duty when she was seemingly unknowingly photographed by paparazzi. And royal commentator Richard Fitzwilliams described the Berlusconi-owned magazine Chi that published them disgusting and lurid following the move. Mr. Fitzwilliams told Express.co.uk, the paparazzi, since their culpability in Diana's tragic death, have far fewer outlets. But they remain a clear and present danger. Chi, a disgustingly lurid magazine, which published a highly intrusive photograph of Diana receiving oxygen in the back of the Mercedes after the terrible crash, is part of the publishing empire of former Italian Prime Minister Silvio Berlusconi. The Italian magazine Chi also has history with the royal family, publishing photos of Kate, Duchess of Cambridge topless while she was on holiday with husband Prince William in 2012. The gossip magazine released 50 images of the Duchess taken during her holiday in France at Chateau d'Autet, near Aix en Provence. Before that, she also published what it claimed was the last photo of Princess Diana alive following the car crash in France in 1997. The image showed Prince William and Harry's mother being administered oxygen in the moments after the crash. Umberto Brindani, Kai's editor at the time, said, I published the picture for a very simple reason, 
it has never been seen before. In my opinion, it is not a picture which is offensive to the memory of Princess Diana. I found it rather tender and touching. While Prince Charles did not join Camilla for her Sardinia break the pair were reunited at Balmoral. They joined the Queen for the annual Highland Games, a highlight in Her Majesty's calendar. Camilla was photographed smiling next to her mother-in-law who was seated between her and Charles. The Prince of Wales and Camilla continued their Scottish tour with a trip to a whiskey distillery. The pair enjoyed a whiskey tasting session at Bladnock Distillery before heading to play a game of bowls in the coastal village of Garliaston. Buckingham Palace has been contacted for comment.